So how do you get ideas? You know, there's a whole bunch of different ways that writers get ideas, and I recommend that you always keep a writer's notebook. If you're out doing something or you're, you're somewhere, you're watching a movie, you're out with your family, you're out with your friends, an idea pops into your head, you can write it down. And if you don't have it with you, write it down as soon as you can. But if you don't have lots of ideas just popping into your head, what do you do? You know, there's lots of things that you can do to brainstorm ideas. Once again, keep that notebook. One thing that I can like to show with students is that you can just, you know, play around with different things. Take a character, brainstorm a list of characters, put that in one column. You know, um, a boy, a girl, a rabbit, an alien, a turtle. Come up with a whole bunch of different ideas for characters. Then in the next column, come up with a list of problems. Um, you know, uh, the, the character uh, wants to win a race, but they can't, or the character um, is having a fight with their best friend and they want to get them back, or, you know, your character wants to go to the moon or to climb a mountain or to swim across a river. Your character wants something that they can't have. That's a problem. Your character wants to do something and they're having problems doing it. That's a problem. And then in your next column, come up with a list of reasons why. So take a character from your first column, take a problem from your second column, mix them and match them up, and then ask yourself questions why. Why is this character having this problem? Why can't this character do what they want to do? And try to come up with all the different possibilities that you can. Play around, ask yourself lots of questions, and when you come up with something that really sounds interesting to you, that could be your idea.